All right, Caps Ninjas, Sensei Lance here again with another intro to equipment, okay? Certain things that we use around the Caps Dojo, things that we use to kind of better our self-defense and martial arts skills. Today, we're going to be discussing the heavy bag, and this is one of my favorite, favorite tools to use because uh, this right here, it's this equipment right here, every piece of equipment has its special use. It's like when you hit the focus mitts, you're, you're doing just that. You're working on focus, you're working on hitting your target. Uh, maybe you're not throwing your punches and kicks as hard as you can. You're just trying to work on that accuracy. Here with the heavy bag, this is one of those chances in the gym where you actually get to throw your techniques as hard as you like because there's not another person on the, si on the other side of it and uh, you can, you, there's no danger of really hurting another person so you can really unload on it. Okay, now there's a few things that I, like to, that I like to remind people of. First of all, if you notice, I have my boxing gloves on. Whenever I, uh, I use the, the heavy bag and I'm gonna be hitting hard, I like to wear boxing gloves. I like to wrap my hands occasionally. Okay, I like to have as much, um, I like to protect my hands as much as possible because if you're gonna be hitting for long periods of time, well, the more you hit, the better your chances are of hurting your hand or something. So from here, um, I do like to use the boxing gloves. Okay, I do like to use the boxing gloves when I use my techniques here. Push, push. That way I can hit hard and I don't have to worry about hurting my hands so much. Okay, and of course, um, one of the other things that I do like about this is the fact that I get to work on my distancing. Because sometimes we've discussed some techniques where if I throw a right cross, well, my left hook is kind of off base. Okay, I'm too far away from my left hook, so I have to learn to throw my right cross, boom, and get closer, bang, that way I can throw my left hook, and things like that. So, not only do you get to use your power, but you get to use your distancing. You get to start figuring out that distancing a little bit. Again, something that's standing still, and you can and you kind of work on those combative ranges. And you'll find out as we do our training, those combative ranges are, are really where it's at, where, where you're going to figure out how your self-defense skills are going to work the best. Okay, but I do like the heavy back because I can't I can get out here. Push, 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 push. And I can just really throw and unload. Now, a real quick thing. If you do not have the boxing gloves, and I do, I train at certain self-defense uh, schools where they don't always use the equipment when they hit the bag. They'll hit the heavy bag barehanded. And that's okay. But if you're going to hit a heavy bag barehanded, you have to make sure that your technique is on point. Everything is good. When you throw that punch, you got to make sure those digits are curled in, that thumb is tucked underneath, and you're hitting with those first two knuckles, those solid knuckles that go up the wrist. Not these to the side because they're not reinforced by anything. We got to hit with these knuckles right here. Okay? And that is push, push, push. You can work on your techniques on a heavy bag with those also, but like I said, you gotta make sure that your wrist is good and strong, good and straight. You gotta make sure you're hitting with those first two knuckles, the solid muscles. You really gotta make sure your technique is solid and on point. I even recommend that before you hit a heavy bag, as hard as you can, bare knuckle, that you make, that you kind of come up and just tap it, just kind of. Okay, that wasn't that bad. Push, all right, okay. Push, and start figuring it out can hit this thing bare hand. And of course, if you're working on your palm strikes, you can just waylay on this thing. This is a great bag for palm strikes. And things like that. Okay, great self-defense tools. So, this is the use. Remember, this particular tool in our gym is designed to develop that power and of course, working on your distancing, making sure that your distance is proper. So keep all that in mind. We're gonna be covering more with the heavy bag in, in future videos. So stay with us, make sure you go down, hit that subscribe button.